Hi there, in this video we are going to be assembling a Naiden IKEA bed frame. This is the code and the size, so let's get to it. Obviously first thing that you do is open up the box. Here we have all the fasteners, here we have the instructions and uh, this is all that's requested. Okay, not even a hammer. I think I, go, I got uh, a few of those. All the elements listed right here. We have a key which is perfect. It should be in here somewhere. Uh, okay, and it seems this is the first thing that we are going to be doing. So I need to locate this particular element somewhere in here. That's gonna be fun. So I need to get them out and lay them on top of the other half of the box to make a bit of room. And I think I found them. There's this element which does not have the pass-through holes. And there's this one which actually has pass-through holes. Like we see on that uh, top one right there. So basically now we need to put these thingies, two of them in the big holes from this. For this you might actually need a hammer. I used this to hammer them just to see if it can be done without a hammer and it works for now but uh, yeah maybe it's still better to have a hammer. And now align that hole with that pin and that hole with that pin and uh, they should slide in if I could align them actually. Yeah they are aligned now. And now in here we must put some uh, screws like this, but first we must find them, not this key, this is the key that we need. Uh, and now screws, which ones, I think this is one of them, and this is the other, great. When tightening do not use your whole power, just human power and make sure they are uh, not above the wood and that should be it. And now at the end we put in the bigger size of uh, dowels and they are not really getting in so I'm getting a hammer. At this point if we are looking all three of these have a Z shape. So it's one like this, it's one like this, this came like that from the factory and the one that we built with the screws somewhere and all of them should have, should have all the big holes uh, filled with uh, these uh, thick dowels so let's do that next step even more thick dowels into these two things plus uh, oh, which one of those are they uh, this this and that yeah these two okay so this will be made with this uh, in a way probably somehow we'll see Beware, these are small dowels, but they do not made together. I think these are two of the legs and these are other two legs. They will get thicker by adding onto them these thingies. We should have four of them. I only found three, so one is uh, hidden somewhere. Here it is. Ah, get out of there. So this thing is, in a way or another, will uh, mate with uh, this, I need to search. They are marked, so we have left, we have right, probably also here somewhere, I'm guessing, who knows, maybe not, anyway. But uh, these things, uh, not, not marked. What I know, this needs to be a top, because it has a single hole in it. So let's see, let's see, so this thingy, this one, is this one. If we rotate it, it has many holes, many holes, so one of those, let's say this, needs to somehow mate with it, like this. Oh, and it's working. Okay, and it's mated. Now a screw of this type will go through this hole into the hole in this one. It's not a pass-through hole, so they will tighten together. Okay. And with this short uh, key, tighten uh, this screw all the way in again 
with human power not hulk power because you can crack the wood okay so this step is done we have this tree right here and this is the fort and now we start on this page to put uh, in these things basically these ones the z ones but uh, for that we need to assemble the magic key it has a number four end and the number five end we are using the number four because this is a four and it will uh, enter snugly uh, in here we have assembled this thing now we need those huge screws and uh, let's see what is so the ones that have those lines which were actually the ones that are pre-assembled from the factory uh, are in the area where you don't see them so we need the one that we assembled for the top because ours is nice on one side and only has screws on the other these uh, are not that uh, nice so anyway this one it seems with a single one of these will be going in the top part of this you can see one hole one this and two screw holes like this so uh, yeah and here they show us how it should look at the end this is how it should look like exactly in the uh, like in the picture but when putting the long screws in make sure you align the hole because otherwise you will be splitting this wood with that huge thing oopsie i made an error I put that in and fully tightened the screws, but normally another one should be in this area. So now I don't think this will allow me to split it enough, to spread it enough maybe to put that in. I will see. I might be needing to untighten some screws, which kind of sucks, but hey, if you don't properly read the manual and think you understood, you do errors and i'm lucky so i can spread it enough just enough to slide this into place it needs to be a bit lower yeah i need both hands but uh, it will go in there barely and we have this step done right here so both of them short legs and the uh, part where the head will be uh, let's continue Okay, to start putting uh, big dowels in them, probably, and we put these big boys in place now. It's getting close to finished. Dowel is in place. It will be actually going inside that hole right there. In this hole right here, we need to put one of these thingies, but in this orientation and a screw will be coming through it, through that hole practically uh, and deep in there will be threading into this and this has uh, a flat head end in here so you can keep it aligned because it might try to rotate like this and then you cannot put the screw through it it needs to be aligned so uh, yeah, let's have fun this is basically how they will go one into the other with these huge screws and this is how it needs to be this is going in there really deep in there and from the other side i put there's a single hole and i need to get it in here but i think this is not pushed all the way in i better push it with this because my screwdriver is magnetic so let's see if i'm lucky and it didn't move and i can uh, directly thread into it Uh, didn't move did it but neither is it happy i need to use this to continue to thread but i think it's working this end is done now let's do the other one small end is also finished so now uh, in these holes we need to put one of these screws each on each corner basically so it will lock everything even better in place this is good construction, quite sturdy. So this step 11 is also done. Now step 12, in the last piece of wood, we actually attach these things. We have uh, the holes in the wood and they need to be attached like this with uh, this type of screw. And now, because this is already attached to the wood, with this type of screws, we attach it to the pre-drilled holes. 
so this beam is also tight now and we have uh, finalized this and now depending on what uh, type of uh, support for your mattress you have so there's one flat there's a curved one with some plastics or rubber at the end and there's a curved one uh, which basically it's kind of uh, foldable like this if you have this one and I have this one already I didn't buy it now I had it from another bed I don't really like it so I don't recommend you get this one it keeps the mattress kind of bent in the middle but for the moment it will do uh, you need to install these four um, things in the holes at the end they will make sure they keep this thing uh, spread and this is how they need to be in there and that will fit against them you'll see in a moment yeah so this is the one that i cannot really stand but we will be installing it this is how it needs to be at the end and now just spread it up to the other end maybe with a different mattress it will be okay who knows and that's about it and yes this bed will be an extension of our main bed because one of the daughters will be sleeping in here for a while and uh, with a 22 centimeter mattress it will be exactly as uh, tall as the other ikea bed which is perfect so hope this video helps you in which case please give it a like check out my other videos and as always see you in the next one bye